We return here to Westby. Ken Manning along with Carl Zuby, a Western Wisconsin video production of, well, the sixth district, district number six, the Westby, the host, and many, many years of the WWF Youth Wrestling Tournament. I'd hate to even guess, Carl, how many it's been, but. I don't even know when that started. Was it early I, 80s? I, boy, I, well, I was here in 93, and we started, we started, I think, shortly after that hosting. Hosting. Uh, yeah, we used to go to Holman, and then uh, I don't know what was going on. We wound up hosting, and I think Holman might have had one, and here we are uh, still. <laughs> so it's got to be 20, 20 plus years. I would think of uh, hosting this this uh, youth regional, and of course, once we were able to uh, move down here to the field house, my goodness, it it really blossomed. We would have nearly 300 uh, wrestlers in the old gym, and that was just a sweat box when you think about it, you know. <laughs> but uh, and of course, wrestlers are on top of each other, and you'd start it eight in the morning and maybe nine in the morning and you'd go until seven at night. I, I, I distinctly remember officiating and uh, I would tell some of the refs, uh, refs I'm like, I live here, we'll see ya. <laughs> you know, you can go. <laughs> and uh, it'd be the, I'd have, I typically would have like that last match, you know, and there'd be maybe a half a dozen people on each side, you know, cheering on their wrestler. and. <laughs> the other other mats are being rolled up, you know, but uh, yeah, those were the good old days. But now with this, I tell you what, it's even uh, so much nicer as you can see with uh, the scope and scale of the of the field house. Getting all these mats down. They did just announce there's a 15 minute wait period. Oh, there is. Okay. <clears throat> so some of these kids are they're, they're waiting on some of these matches. Okay. Yeah, well, 15 minutes. We That's thought that had to be kind of close there with some of them that we saw earlier today. But uh, our young, our young uh, Mr. Strand yes. <laughs> from the Viroqua area, he had his work cut out for him. Well, down here on uh, Mat Two, uh, let's see, Tom uh, Good. He had a rough one there. He winds up. Thomas winds up losing that one, 11 to two to Shank of Arcadia. So Shank, that was a consolation semifinal. So I would, uh, I suspect that good is probably done now. We have a Toma wrestler coming out onto the mat on this uh, 200 section. Well, I would imagine they're gonna take a little bit of a break in between the two sessions as well. So the Older group can uh, get some warm ups in and such. Have a Caston wrestler down there on that. Oh no, no, that's a different. Uh, that's a USA singlet kind of deal. So I thought for a moment it might have been a Caston wrestler. I wonder if really Evan Haiti is down there. Matt Seven. Oh, wrestling that West Salem's Avram Schneep Duffy. So that's probably a, is that like a third place match or? Yeah, what did it say? No, first place. First place match, oh, championship. I will definitely keep an eye on him. Zoom in a little bit. So he is leading by, a, or trailing, I'm sorry. Evan Haiti is trailing. Nope. That's not the right match. Well, uh, what see. happened? This is well. That's 440. That's Chance Primer and oh, uh, Ren Kramer. Let's see. Walter oh. Collum will be coming up on that mat. Okay. Um, 
Evan Haiti lost to Schneep Duffy with a 48 second pin. Wow. Was that a first place match? It says it was. It was, okay. It says first place match. back down here and take a look on uh, our mats one and two to see what we have. We have uh, uh, Caden Townsend of Kickapoo Lafarge. This is a consolation semifinal. He has taken on Colton Jenner of Nakusa. Looked like he was trying to get a little bit of a chin drop there. He might have picked up some bad points. Jenner trying to come up with a quick reversal though as he is able to break free. Got a 5 1 score. He's going to go out of bounds. A lot of uh, matches here with the uh, chance to go on, of course, to the state tournament. Wonder what they mean by second place match. They I, wouldn't wrestle back for true second, would they? they oh, wow. See, that's, well, if you take just the top three and, you, and there's no wrestle back for the third place, if there's no wrestle back for the third place, then maybe there would be a wrestle back for a true second. That could, that could be. That's interesting. I'll have to ask Holly if we get a break. A chance Primer won his third place match and will make his way to the Alliant Energy Center next weekend. The mat, the, the match coming up on that mat is uh, Walter Collum again wrestling uh, Wyatt Pierce. Melrose Mindoro. Is uh, Colin family still around, Westby? I believe mom and dad are. Uh, but I think uh, obviously with uh, Jimmy and then his, uh, his sisters, I think they all might be spread out different places. I'm not 100% now that you say that. Well, we'll keep, you know, some area interest there plus you know, the, the, the last match he wrestled was a pretty good match to watch. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? He's got the early lead. He's a little bit in trouble, but able to pull out on top. They almost need one camera on that and one on Jim. <laughs> <laughs> back down here and uh, take a look at matches on one and two, see what we've got here. Townsend leads seven to two over Colton Jenner on mat one. Now nine to four, I should say. Jenner says, let's go neutral. So it's 10-4. With 40 seconds to go, he's going to go after a throw here, but he, uh, ooh, he picked it up too. He picked up the throw. Very close to the pin here. That'd be a big come from behind win. Townsend trying to get off his back here. 
Down to seven seconds. Now five. That's going to be the end of the match. It's a three near fall. It winds up 10 to nine. Townsend is going to hang on. Wow. Well, and there again, that's uh, one of those where the experience you, you gain it's, uh, you gain a lot of experience right there yeah. because that's a that's a coachable moment. As the head coach, uh, as you, whether it's a dad or whoever, you're going to say, "All right, best to go down low, go after single legs, no need to go upper body." Meanwhile, from the other side, you can say, "Hey, that was a heck of a try. You got your move." So coachable for both. Both opponents, both wrestlers. Well, it's been all Walter Cotlam. End of the second period, he's going to pick up three more near fall. It's 11 nothing as uh, we start the third period. It's Pierce's decision from Melrose Mindoro. Well, he's looking over to the coaching staff and going, what do I do? What do you think? <laughs> well, I've, uh, I've been in trouble here. <laughs> Column just forcing his way in to the takedown. Rolls through right into a cradle. by Tech Fall. 16-0, Walter Collum of uh, West Salem, Bangor. Wins his third place match. Pretty good job there. Well, and I, I just caught that too, that uh, they will get a 15 minute warm up in between the two sessions. So that means we'll, get a, we'll be able to catch a break here. And uh, so they're just trying to, Holly goes, just be patient, gentlemen. You'll get you'll get your time, <laughs> and and we're only at 11:39, 11:40 right now. So this tournament uh, for three just to touch over three hours, it's been going really well. That's oh, we're gonna see uh, in the in the upper grade grade levels here, older kids. You're gonna have. Uh, a full mat. They'll get a full mat too, you know, on a couple of them. So that's going to be, you know, kind of, kind of fun to to give them that opportunity. We're we're right up there. We're going to touch on almost uh, almost 400 matches. Oh, wow! Just in this session. Just in this session. My goodness. I didn't quite catch that one. Probably something about no food. No street <laughs> shoes. Oh, no street shoes. Okay. Well, let's take a look here uh, with Mel Min over here on uh, mat number on our on our black mat, our all black mat. Yeah, we've we've wrestled 348 matches so far. 348. <laughs> And we probably have another 348 to go. I would not be surprised. Trying to catch up here and see uh, who we have, if anyone in our local area coming up here. The man, uh, you got your camera way down there on that far mat. Who is that down there? So the far mat. That was and, a, uh, just got the win. It's uh, Cordell Path of Melrose Mindoro ah. and Easton Albert of the Boys and Girls Club of Lacrosse. Well, I'll tell you what, there was a lot of clapping going on there. That was quite the match. Boys yeah. and Girls Club picked up the win. I wasn't sure what to 
where to go with anything, so he just kind of left it down there on that map. <laughs> You've got these first four covered pretty well. I'm trying anyway, so I'm going to look here on uh, mat number two, our 200 bout mat. We're switching uh, gears on this one again. Oh, there's a big big throw right there on uh, our top map, upper right. Evan Tuguero of Holman taking on Kellen Sellers of Law. That is on the uh, on our mat two on our 100 and 200 mat. We have uh, Dylan Tandy of Melrose Mandaro taking on Jansen Ryder of Trempolo. That is on our 300 mat. That's in the upper right. Sellers was uh, for Oakwell Westby kid. Oh yeah, yeah. His dad was a, I think was a, a cop, is a cop. Oh, okay. Luke, Luke Sellers. Oh. Mom was a school nurse for Viroqua for a few years. Okay. And they're, uh, so which district do they live in now? I want to say they go to Westby. Okay. I, I just wasn't quite familiar with it, so. Back up a little bit. Red mat, mat number four, no, mat number six is Colin Izquierdo of Nakusa and Camden Ingvold of Marshfield. Oh yeah. Yeah, yes, square doll, I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Get down here, uh, that 300 area, it's still, well, it's a 5 2 score here. Tandy of Melrose Mandoro. They have that kind of, uh, that with that green singlet, I'm not sure what that is on the, is it uh, like footprints or what? Oh, might be. Being Mustangs, I, I'm not sure. They are colorful, though. They'll catch your eye. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that uh, they're probably kind of watching uh, the timelines here and stuff. And my uh, my suspicion is that we'll probably be done with this around the 12, I want to say 12:15 mark, potentially. And uh, then 15 minute break. They're gonna get the mats, let the guys uh, second session come in, warm up.
Was that a third place match, the Sellers? Ah, uh, let's take a look here. That was, that was a first, first place, place match. First place match. Yep, yep. And he picked up the win. 11-2, a major decision. So they'll see if there's any uh, other like consolation ones coming up or anything like that. Well, we've got another one going down on map five. It's over here on map one and two, we got uh, third place match, Grayson Shearer. Shearer from uh, Marshfield, taking on Reed Fremont from Nielsville. And if, uh, and that's a third place match, so whoever wins is going to the Alliance Center. So they must be wrestling back for second because Chance Primer won his third place match, and now he is wrestling Evan Haiti oh. of North Crawford. I've got that on my map. Okay. Evan Haiti, North Crawford, Chance Primer, Prairie to Sheen. That's your upper left corner. So these guys both go into state. Now yep. it's just to figure out Which, who you wrestle next week. Yep. First yep. round. Down here on Matt one, that's a two nothing score for Fremont. And Matt two, you got Tucker Pagenkoff of Reedsburg taking on Maverick Hurd of Boscobel. That is a third place match. And it's a seven three score right now with uh, Pagenkoff now out in front. Coming up next on Matt two, uh, be watching uh, one of my young guys, uh, Cord Crabble, will be coming up here, and that'll be a championship match. Primer leading this by a score now of four to two. A takedown in the first period and a reversal over Haiti. Back here on uh, Oh, my wife is uh, going with one of her classmate friends to the uh, auto show in uh, up in Lacrosse, <laughs> and she goes, "We're going at three. Any time you know, do you know any time you're going to be home?" I, I'm tempted to say, "Oh yeah, ten o'clock tonight." <laughs> I'll definitely wake up tomorrow morning at home. I just don't know what time I'll go to bed. Then. <laughs> oh, that'll be funny.
Well, let's take a look here. Uh, we think on this uh, mat number two, we should be seeing uh, Cord Crabble of the Law slash Brookwood area be coming up here. And that's who it's going to be. Yep, chance eight by score of eight two. Primer. Yep. Well, here we go on this uh, matchup here for our first place. I believe this is the 85 pound weight class. Ethan Suberla of Nakusa and Cord Crabo from Law. And we're going to have people coming and going, so bear with us on that. Sabula comes up with a takedown. He's got a cross face chest crusher, but Crabble's trying to work his way through that. He'll give up some back points. Suberla goes right in, trying to half Nelson, but Krabble is able to fight that off. Four nothing yet. Meanwhile, on the other mat, uh, Miles Connor of New Lisbon taking on Zane Sizz. That's a first place match. That's a 2-1 score in favor of Connor out of New Lisbon. Cord has his choice with the flip of the disc and says, I'll defer. Well, we must be getting right down to the nitty gritty here, Carl, because uh, they actually let some of the wrestlers of uh, the second session go down to the far end of the mat of the mats and uh, at least start to congregate a little bit. <laughs> so it could be such a thing that we're right near the end of our competition. Well, we have a pinning combination here going on. Let's see. It's kind of hard to say. There's going to be a pin. And it looks like uh, Miles, Miles Connor, I think, just picked up the pin. He did over uh, Zane uh, Sizz out of the law program. Right now, it is uh, time for us just to focus in on Cord's match. He's given up some back points here. And he just gave up the pin. Well, a tough wrestler there in, uh, from Nakusa in Ethan Suberla. And actually, they said the time ran out. So he got a little lucky there. Krabble has his choice, and he said neutral. This might be the very last match of the yeah. tournament. We'll see. Well, we've, I've got one down on, on mat five. Oh, or you six. do? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And that's um, Austin Ewing of Richland Center and Porter Stanick of uh, Law. Okay. That's a, this is a third place match. Oh, wow. Chance to go to state. Stanick leads by a score of 2 0. Suberla picks up a takedown and some back points here now. I also have another match. I do have one more match going here to the right of that. Well, there's the pin. Not anymore. Yep, not anymore. <laughs> You're right. Suberla does finally pick up the win via the fall at 11 nothing lead going into that. Looks like another match coming up here. 
And we actually have another, we have uh, two Melrose Mondoro wrestlers out here now on the mat uh, four area, the three, the black mat. It was the three and 400 area. And I'll bet you that's probably, I'm gonna guess is a third place match, we'll see. Nope, it's actually a second place match. <laughs> I gotta quit guessing. <laughs> I I do terrible at bets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stanick now leads by a score of six nothing. As we start the third period with Ewing riding top control. Double leg takedown by Stanek to edge out nine nothing. 20 seconds to go. Now I'm picking up some near fall. I gotta pan back a little bit here. I didn't realize uh, kind of falling asleep at the switch there. All of a sudden there's two mats, two matches going on on our red and black mat. Our Westby mat, or W mat, I suppose. And then we got a black mat, and then we got two full red mats, which are uh, WWF mats. So Stanek will come away your winner by a score of 11 to 1 wow. over Austin Ewing of Richland Center. And that is third place match, so Stanek punches his ticket. Pan back just to see, just to give everybody a little bit of a feel for the people that are just <laughs> waiting to go. Anxiously That's, that's not even all of them. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, they are definitely waiting and anxious to get out there. We're gonna have a few more mats. A couple more matches, looks like on mat four. Taking a look here on our mats uh, one and mat one with uh, bouts 100 and 200. Townsend of Kickapoo Lafarge on the uh, far end right side uh, trails 7 4 to Gardner, Raider Gardner of Marshfield. That is a third place match. The winner moving on to the state tournament. In fact, it's now a final. And uh, it is a final. It winds up 10 to 4. Townsend just missing out there. But I tell you what, he had a great little tournament, though. He was out in the mat a lot, it seemed like today. <laughs> <laughs> he winds up in the number four spot. Meanwhile, on the second half, Tucker Stulso of Melrose Mondoro is wrestling. Elias Shank of Arcadia and Stulzo has an eight nothing lead right now. It seems like uh, that upper left corner of the screen there, Carl, with all, it seems like it's slowly, slowly moving our way. Yes. <laughs> Holly keeps giving him half a mat at a time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're gonna tell us that we're gonna have a 15 minute break, but it might take that long to get to the bathroom and back. It, it might, you're right, yes. Well, regardless, we're gonna have to take that break. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so 
who do we, let's see, Matt for. Stuzel picks up the win 10 to one, by the way, over uh, Shank of Arcadia. We had two, that is, uh, according to my calculations, both of those boys are from Melrose. Oh, really? But one of them's got a different singlet on. Looks like, I thought it was a boys and girls club one. According to track, it's Camden Berg and Dylan uh, Tondi. Oh, um, yeah. Both. I saw that somewhere. Where is that? This is a second. This is a wrestleback match. If you believe that part of it, yeah. No, that was on. Yeah. Oh, we still have another one. I have uh, two matches uh, here on our red and black map. Colin Bornitz from Holman wrestling Zwiffel of Toma. Toma Lov, Marcus Zwiffel. Zwiffel has the lead 7-0. Brezza from CFC out in front, two to nothing over Spets of DC Everest. And there's a fall on the 100 section. That was a 10 nothing lead. Zwiffel. Zwiffel moving on. That was a first place match. They don't have, they don't have that mat up. Oh, no, maybe they do. Yeah, those are different kids, but they're the same, different color singlets, but they're the same. It's Boys and Girls Club. Okay. Easton Albert. Ah, all right. And Caleb Rickert. Interesting, huh? <laughs> We got a 5-2 uh, score here on our mat uh, two, 245. Brezza and Spets, Spets with the lead. Well, now the question is, are these the last two matches? Might be. We hope. Right. Uh, looks like there's one more. One more coming. One more on mat one. Okay. Um, see one of my middle school wrestlers is who's going to be wrestling today. I'll have to, I'll have to go over when we break and pump, say hi. So I might be, <laughs> might be a little late coming back to the next session. But. <laughs> uh. I'd say he's going to be the only Viroqua guy here on this second session. Oh, really? I don't know. No, we should have a couple. We should have uh, Wayne Primer's son, Brock, should be here. <coughs> should have an Eitzert here as well. Okay. Should have. Staying 7-2 score down here yet with our two boys and girls club. And uh, we're back in action. Well, and I'm trying to see here, uh, Carl, who our next uh, two wrestlers is uh, Pagenkoff of Reesburg and oh, Holman's Tuguero. Tuguero and Pagenkoff. Right now. I think what we could probably do here, Carl, is uh, we could take a break. We could turn our mics down, and uh, these, uh, the wrestlers coming up here are not in our area, but everybody, the screen's going to be running. 
and uh, they'll be able to take a look at what we have here and cheer on their wrestler. We'll keep the uh, camera on the, on the particular mat. And uh, we'll just say uh, we hope that you're enjoying today's morning session of the Youth District 6 WWF Wrestling Tournament. And I tell you what, uh, it's been a really good, fast morning. Just a touch after 12 o'clock, and they're finishing up the last match or two here. And then uh, we're going to come back in about, well, about 20 minutes or so. And we're going to have uh, the second session, which are the older kids, a couple different age brackets that come into play. We'll have that action coming up for you here in just a little bit. So, Carl, thanks again for this morning's work. You're going to be here for the afternoon, right? Yes. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For Carl Zuby, I'm Ken Manning saying thanks for joining us. We'll be back with more here as we turn the mics down, but we'll let you watch and see what's going on here today. Back in a little bit.